focused. Hello, fellas, fellerets. And what do we have here? I can hear you say, what the frick is this? The Reading Edge, if you can read the print on that. It's too glary. The Reading Edge. What is the Reading Edge? Well, the Reading Edge, as you can see by its very nature, is some computerized device. Here's the keypad, look. Just hold that up so you can... See, and it says the, the keys. So there's an 18 key keypad, and there's the wire for it, it goes underneath. Um, what is this, I hear you say? Well, this is a product of many things. Now, this is the top of it open, this is the reading edge with the top up, there's the back of the lid, there's the top of the unit, and as you can see, there's a glass platter. What does this do? Well, underneath this bottom corner here, is a power switch. I'm going to turn it on. Now you won't be able to see a great lot of this, but here it powers up. You know the light's going to come on, so it's going to be very bright. Welcome to the reading edge, version three point zero, desktop version four point zero. This startup message describes the three keys on the bottom row of the keypad. I'm going to put the lid down. So now you can see there's a light coming out of the left hand side. Okay, the keypad's here. There's nothing in memory or anything. Okay, now what this basically is, if you look here, let's get that the right way up. Flash on. We have a huge book. Shows all flash notes. We have a huge book. This gives you an idea of how thick it is. And this machine will let me read this book independently. So let me just rifle through this book and I'm going to find a page that I know has usable print. Okay, we're going to take this page as we work through the book, trying to find a page that's suitable. Uh, that page might just do it. Now I'm going to open the top of the scanner. There's the scanner open. As you can see, there's a big glary light there. I'm going to take this book and we're going to place the page, it says place the page face down on the scanner which we've now done, like that. Now if you look at the book, notice how the book edge is hanging over the edge of the unit. You can see that the book isn't stretched like that. That there is a contoured edge that allows the book to sit on the scanner. And what we do now is we just bring Three the lid tweets. down as far as we can. Obviously the book is too big because the lid's there and the bottom's there. That doesn't matter because what we're going to now do is we're going to hit the button on the scanner at the bottom there, that bottom left button and you'll see that the scanner lamp is starting to move you can see the movement working there, look there it is so I can take that page out of the machine lift the lid up remove the book And then, see there's your lamp, there. And that's the control cable you can see there, that front piece. Close the lid. And what will now happen is the machine is now recognising the text in a form that basically puts it into computer mode. Now what does this machine enable us to do? As blind people, as you know, that, the print book, is quite hard to access. I mean, that's a novel, that thing's huge, that's my A-plus coursework. Um, I'm going to show you this machine from the top to give you an idea what it looks like from a distance. There's the whole unit on the floor. It's quite a large machine. And what you're going to see, I'm going to leave that open. 
And what you're actually going to see in a minute or two is this thing working. Um, now that scanner bar will reset in a matter of minutes to make it more usable. I got mentioned on Twitter again. It's my lovely Twitter. Here we go. Michael Mayer is lovingly called the Apogee by those who know him as the industry's leading authority on A plus certification. He is the president and co-founder of Total Seminars, LLC, a provider of PC and network repair seminars for apostrophe O, O, K, S, videos, and courseware for thousands of organizations throughout the world. Mike has been involved in the computer and network repair industry since 1977 as a technician, instructor, author, consultant, and speaker. Author of numerous popular PC books and videos, Mike is also the series editor for both the highly successful Mike Mayer's Certification Passport series and the Mike Mayer's Computer Skills series. I'll stop it there. But that basically allows you to, as you heard, it made a few mistakes on the recognition. But the idea of this machine is to allow for books to be read quite nicely. Now what you're going to see in a minute when it's been idle long enough, you're going to see the scanner bar come back and that basically means that um, it will quite happily if I was to scan a book I could get this scanner bar to move back the other way. So let's just um, move the scanner back and then I can show you. The lamp's going to come on. There, the lamp's at the other end now. Nothing there. Both pups. Erase text. Re reading keep. Page cancelled. That's page cancelled. So there's the scanner at that end. I'm going to show you it traverse the... Erase, erase all text. Let's erase all the text. Erasing text. Please do not power off. Viewfinder. Elapsed time. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Flash on. Okay, we've got... Shows all flash modes. The scanner is doing its thing. I'm going to show you the transfer of the scanner from end to end. So you can see how... Because the scanner only moves at one speed. Operation done. Okay. Let's turn it off. We're going to turn it on and let you see the scanner move across the device. Um, now the software for this thing is contained on that. That's, that is a PCMCIA card as you can see by the, the holes in the end of it there. I've taken that out for a minute. I'm going to turn this on without a card in so you can watch the scanner. without the light getting in the way. That's the speed it moves at. That is the speed the scanner moves at. So that gives you some idea of what this thing is. Now part two is going to cover a little bit more on the machine. But certainly the reading edge is more than capable of um, doing things for what I want it to do. It's built upon the philosophy of a fellow called Ray Kurzweil. He was the, he's a futurist, this guy. And he deserves credit for what he's done because this thing is awesome. It's old, very old, fairly fragile, but this thing is not bad. Now when you're not using this, what you can actually do is coil up, gather up all the wiring on top of there like that. Tuck the keypad underneath with a bit of jiggery poker it should go underneath, I think. Elapsed time. Nine minutes, twenty one seconds. Let's see. If Nine I can minutes, get to twenty four seconds. Get in there. Nine minutes, twenty nine seconds. There it goes. You find her. So there's the reading edge. Time to focus. I hope you guys enjoy. Three tweets, mid FM. One tweet. Stop recording video.